Morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Folks got me a Velocity Van Bag, these are quality if you don't know what these are. Really nice bit of kit and you can put your sandwiches in there, look. <clears throat> so today we're going to do, um, it's actually a uh, ground source heat pump for a heat exchanger, from a heat exchanger to the manifold and it pumps it around the underfloor. There's literally no control, it doesn't work. It's a massive house with four systems. Uh, four manifolds in place. We're going to be doing two over the next two days. So what we're doing, we're changing the whole entire system. We're going for a heat miser. U H. Uh, so it's underfloor, and eight means the the amount of channels you've got on here. R F is radio frequency. So because we're going to be using the wireless slimline heat miser thermostat, and then we're going to also be fitting the new heat miser um, heads to control the flow. Of the water so fairly interesting job clients allow us to film uh, we're not allowed to film the house but we're allowed to film um the job we are doing so stuff, isn't it? <laughs> so we're on the job i've got james we just had the most disgusting coffee from costa it was, it was like warm milk um thank you cheers thank you that's all right are you actually filming at the moment? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter, yeah. You, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't want me to film you? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's fine, yeah. Right. So it's nice to have a drawing. Look, so we've got a Meissen system which is coming out because it doesn't work at all. But look, this is where we are at the minute here. They didn't put the manifold here, they put it here. So we're going to have one loop that controls this area on one uh, thermostat. Entrance hall has actually got one, two, three loops, but we're going to double them up. Have one thermostat control in this area, one in the laundry, and one in the passage. And I'm the only bloke that ever took this off, look, <laughs> when I come to price. Um, they had, they've had a few prices for this, but um, everyone thought the manifold finished there, look. But obviously, there's a head in there, look. Um, so at least we know what all of these do. It's pretty good to draw in, they're all numbered. So we got rip this Meissen out. Rip out these these wireless, move the power feed up, put our new box in here, new heads, new thermostats. So we're going to get on with it. So we're going to let James have a little go on this one today. So basically all this is is power feed into a box, wireless thermostats, talks to these actuators. Very basic this, and it opens these actuators, which just lets hot water through basically. So we're just going to replace all this with our gear, which is... One. one heat miser box as I said can accept up to eight uh, loops okay eight heads thermostats and the heads actuator heads to open up the valves yeah open up the valves these are the valves these this this will push on the valve and open up open it up So I just jump in when James does things. What they did, they took a feed out of this spur. They came across here. They permanently fed these two wireless switches uh, with alive and neutral, and then they switch back on these. They've cut the earths out and they've switched onto these channels, and then they just doubled up. They're only switching two, so um, a lot of these zones didn't have any control. So the water would come in. This floor would be red hot. And there'd be no control at all on this floor um, because obviously look, some of them have even got heads on but um yeah it looks it's quite a gummy old system as well look let's see if they want to get a plumber here to do some sort of descaling on it but um we're now going to just rip all this out and basically just start again now so these are the old mycin uh, thermostats that was a stood on the table in there and that one was in the in the hallway it actually controls the drawing room they had to move it because it never it never worked so they took it off the wall um it's just a crap system basically it's outdated it just doesn't work so that's what we're just going to replace the whole lot so a bit of progress james is stripping out the old thermostat uh, receivers he's also got the control box off and um, we're just going to decide, is that wood in that back panel, mate? Yes. Oh, that's good, yeah. yeah. So we can screw straight to that, can't we? Yes. That's good. 
Yeah, so we're going to get this all stripped out and put ours on the back wall there. So, our power supply can stay there. Our new control box can go here. We just measured the length of the cables. They're long enough to come from a number eight uh, loop all the way up to here. Um, so we can get that in line. Gives it a nice bit of, um, the other one was a little bit close actually, the heat that used to radiate off of here was long. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave it up there, a little bit of thing, a space. And it also gives that antenna a nice gap. They also give you an extended one. Um, if that one isn't big enough, there is one you can stick up the top of the cupboard. So we'll give that little one a go first. If it doesn't work, then we'll swap it over. But um, we'll get this fixed in now. We're gonna label all the heads up one to eight, and then we're gonna mark them up hard what they are inside this box. That's charged quite quick actually in the van. That. So pump, flex too short. We're gonna replace that. He's gonna run up and comes into here. Look, pump, 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 pump. There's our feed. He's gonna come out of there into here, run along, mains in. That's gonna give us our feed and our pump. Basically, when the thermostat calls for heat, it'll open the valve, which will turn the pump on, pull the hot through here and send it down the relevant uh, uh, loop that's calling for the heat. That's essentially what it is. It's a switch at the end of the day. We have got to program them all up um, and do that. That's going to take a bit of time. We are going to label everything. Um, so the next bloke that comes, he knows what's going on. Uh, not like what I came to. Um, it was just a cupboard boxed in and you know just had to sort of used my own knowledge uh, to figure out what was going on so um we'll get these heads put on james is going to label these up one to eight um and we'll come back to you in a minute so the clients give us a lovely big fan it's um it's lovely because it's hot in this cupboard because the server racks behind me as well so hence all the datas and stuff i've got two bits of trunk in here um new cable on the pump it'll run up and in I'll also bring probably four of these this one and then these four will probably come up uh, this one here and obviously some of these zones we're gonna have to double up because we're not going to be using all eight zones um, because we haven't got eight thermostats we're gonna have four thermostats um, so they'll open these simultaneously you know if that one opens then those two will open together sort of thing so on all of our cables the multi-stranded flexes we're going to be using uh, feral crimps, yeah? Just tidies up the end, I don't know if that's focused in. Yeah, cheers. So if, yeah, if you unclip them, so what James is doing now is unclipping all of the heads uh, off their bases. You can screw them on and then just clip these on. Look, press the button and they unclip, yeah? Simple as that. He says, get on. I'll do it one ended. Just while you're at this stage, hold on a minute, let me clean that. It looks a bit so while you're at this stage, see these little plungers? You want to check these, make sure they move freely, yeah? Because that's what the the um, actuator is going to push down on to open up that little valve there to release the, the water through, yeah? And if they're not moving, that means they're jammed. And then you'd have to get Mr. Plumsky in to replace because that'll be a wet job. That one right. Oh. Yeah, they're all nice and free, so that's good. There we go. Right, as you can see we've put two pieces of mini trunk just to tidy up these cables, pump, first four and then uh, last four run up to here. We're now going to put some heat shrink on these, just label them up. One to four and then four to eight. That's the mains, that's the pump, and then we'll re-terminate all these, and then we'll ferrule all these uh, little ends back up. Obviously we could put that in, but it, it's just scruffy. We just want to dress it in nice and then put it to the relevant output, yeah? So what we're doing now, we're just heat shrinking these up. Look, one, as I said, slide them on, and then we're going to get the new, I've got a new... Um, Solder nine, we can use that just to mount this uh, on a little bit. But we're getting there. There we go, look, letting that heat up. Right, it says it's hot enough now. Feels damn hot. Hopefully, I can mount this enough to 
to mount this heat shrink on. There we go. Yep. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, James, lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. There we go. That is perfectly mounted on the cable. Number one. The beauty of this is turn him off. That'll flash to tell you that's that's still hot, yeah. Yeah. So when uh, only until that light goes out. And uh, the beauty of these little batteries still, it will stand up. It will stand up in the corner. Look, it'll just do its thing. That's good. Number one. So we'll do the let. We'll do the rest now, James. You can print the rest off, mate. So if you look at that drawer in there, it tells me that one, two, three are the drawing room, which is basically the lounge, which is that way. Okay. Look at this point work. One goes that way. Two goes this way three goes this way and then if you look at five he goes that way and eight in there goes that way so I think the drawings complete rubbish and it's I don't think it's ever been controlled correctly so in fact it's going to be one five and eight that are going to do the lounge and the two and three are probably going to do the utility behind so I don't think one two and three has ever been the lounge yeah and I think this guy did have a clue, look, because he's put an Al, H, 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 Al. So I think he knew that 1 and 5 was the lounge, but it was never controlled like that, yeah? It was always controlled wrongly, if you like. Right, what, what I've done for the moment is leave these long, okay? Because we, we don't actually know which channel they're going to go into yet. So we just started to set this up. So here we got some dip switches. So we need to set this tens to zero and this will be number one and then we'll go through two three four when we do the other we've got one more to do tomorrow and then we'll do we'll do another two in a couple of months time when we know these ones work perfectly yeah we know they're going to work but we just want to space the work out a little bit so that's this is now programmed to be on zero and ones so this makes this unit number one which is manifold one okay and then next we're going to um pair up a what have you got, James? A thermostat there. We're going to pair up a thermostat with um, a certain channel to open one of these, bring the pump on, and then push some water through the loops. So the only way we're going to be able to do this is, is get these on one by one to identify which loops go where because the drawing's incorrect. Well, I may as well show you this. We've just paired up zone one, which will be our drawing room, and then zone two will do it as the entrance hall yeah yeah entrance hall so i'll just show you how to do it so you turn this off turn the thermostat off okay and then you hold the clock button for two seconds until you get that appearing on the screen okay and you need to press the clock repeatedly until you see feature six okay that one there and then press up and down it's up and down to set the feature zero six two one two zero zero okay and then press the clock again until you see the feature seven and then we need to put go up and down to put our put our board number in which um is number one on this one okay so that's our board number set with those dip switches which is number one okay press the clock again until you go to feature eight and then you on this number here is one to eight. So one being number one to eight. So we'll call this one number two. So that means this thermostat will control zone two uh, on this board, okay? So once you've done that, use the up and down button, uh, which zone it should be linked to, and press the clock again until you go to feature nine. And then zero, zero is underfloor heat in which this is all radiators, okay? So we're gonna leave him on zero, zero, Use the up and down to confirm, and then press A to confirm, okay? Screen will go blank. And press the power uh, to get the thermostat back on, okay? You see it's currently 25. So if I was to now override that and set that to 30 degrees, you'll see that that will then set himself. He'll talk to the board a couple of seconds later. It'll bring uh, LED 2 on, which is zone 2. Okay, zone two, pumps come on. Uh, that pump's now switched on, so we'll be pulling water through this loop. And um, same again, if we now want to decrease the temperature because we're too hot, 
give it a couple of seconds this will then talk to the board and switch off that zone so we're going to program these all up now label them so we know where they are and then we're going to go and fix these in the appropriate places yeah there you go so he's talked to that he turned him off so it's, it's quite an easy system it's a bit like a kinetic switch really but just for uh, um, underfloor heating basically so we'll now go and put this I don't want it on cooling we'll put this in the relevant room but we'll have him off for a minute so that's number two James and I'll do number three and number four and then we can actually decide which cables we're going to connect to which loops we're going to control right, all of our thermostats are now programmed into to channel on one two three and four we're now just temporarily connected in uh, this head which is number one which we know goes in and goes to the lounge there it's now pulling in warm here and it's pushing out cold that's actually nice and warm now so that means that it's that whole loop now is to the temperature it needs to be at I believe it's one five and eight that go together and he's got these marks up H which is hall which is that way so we'll put those three together that will leave six and seven which will either be utility at, and um, this hallway so we'll just it doesn't matter which one they go in there's only one head to go on each channel we'll just then put the thermostat in the relevant um, area when the floor warms up Right, we're all connected in. I've had to double fail some of these because they only give you two outputs on the channel and um, two of these we've got three heads look um, hence the black and the grey. Um, I've left these long enough in here in case these have got to come over here and these have got to carry on to here okay so they're long enough to go everywhere don't be too stressed about this needing to be sort of fuse board neat. It's, it's neat and tidy and there's no straggly ends here. I've had it before where someone's pushed an end in and it's actually shorted out between the live and the neutral here and they wondered why the channel wasn't working okay so ferrule them up get them nice and neat I'm now going to power these up and then we need to go and make sure that we put the thermostats in the right rooms because a couple of these we don't know where these pipes go look so uh, these two it could either do utility and haul we, we haven't got a clue basically because the drawing's wrong so we'll power these up feel the floor and then feel which one's getting warm Right, so I just had to speak to the engineer that deals with the um, ground source heat and the buffer tank and stuff here and we've set the minimum temperature to 45 because the outdoor temperature sensor was holding off the temperature for us it wasn't giving us any flow so this is now coming lovely and hot and I can now check the loops um, in the rooms and then when we're done we'll just uh, ring him back up go back through the menu and reset it down to 15 uh, 15 degrees being the minimum but um thank you James so yeah, we, we're warming up now. As you can see, those three heads are pushed down. So it's sending hot water around those three loops, which I believe are to be the front entrance there. We can. This is lovely and hot now, and this one's cold. So obviously the return is uh, still pushing the cold water through. So we'll wait for this to get warm, check the floor temps, and then go from there. But there's the new thermostat for this little utility room. And then the next one's gonna go here on this nib and this is going to do this foyer flickery led -ness. By a bit of a fail the compressors have gone off and we're not getting the flow the heating temperatures that we need it's now just recirculating uh, it's gone off basically the, the thing's gone off because the flow temperature is too hot because it's so hot outside today it's like 26 degrees so it's no good for commissioning this really but we know that that's drawing room entrance 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 drawing hall utility drawing room the only things that might be around the wrong way is this utility and that and that um, hallway simple fact of that is all we would do is switch the thermostats over in the locations it would then switch the correct um, it would then switch the correct zone on here okay so that's this one pretty much done we're just going to button this up label we'll come back to you and then we'll be back tomorrow to do the same upstairs right we physically can't get any more labels on here manifold one main supply zs is 0.84 at the spur three amp fuse fitted this gives you the zones three is utility four is drawing room one is entrance hall two is the hall which is here that's the pump if you didn't know what that is that's a pump and then you've got all the heads labeled up what they do and where they go and the numbers one two three four five six seven and eight tucked in there okay so this one's pretty much complete the only thing that might need to be changed as i said is to switch these two heads 
over, we can either switch the heads, which will mess the numbering up, or we just change the thermostats over in the different rooms. So we'll see you tomorrow.